Hey, you know how we were very sure the next iPad Pro was getting an M3 chipset? Well, scrap that, because now we have leaks coming out of nowhere that we could see M4. Yes, I repeat, M4 in this new bloody iPad. What is going on? My brain can't comprehend this, but let's try and make some sense of this. So Mr. Marcus German dropped his weekly Power On newsletter detailing what to expect from Apple's upcoming Let Loose event, and here I was expecting German to just regurgitate everything we already know and be as vague as possible, but he instead drops a very exciting tidbit out of nowhere, and that's a fact M4 could be debuting with this iPad. Now I know this is German and he's a very credible source, but upon hearing this, I did have my doubts. For one, it's not even been a full year since M3 came out, and the MacBook Air just got the M3, so that poor thing is gonna be outdated already. And also launching a Mac chip in the iPad is pretty odd. But after tweeting my thoughts, many people in the replies made some valid arguments as to why M4 could make sense. The first possible reason is AI. Yes, Apple's jumping on the AI hype train, choo choo. It's what every company's doing right now to boost sales, and iPad sales are a little stinky right now. So yes, branding M4 as their first AI powered chipset could help improve sales and help market these iPads. We have heard the main change with M4 is gonna be a new neural engine for AI features. So expect Apple to flex this everywhere in the marketing material alongside the new OLED display. The next possible reason Apple's rushing out M4 is because the competition is heating up, particularly Snapdragon's Elite X chipsets, starting to seem promising and so maybe Apple wants something that better competes with that chipset. M3 is based on the flawed TSMC M3B process and so they might want to move to the more efficient M3E process as soon as possible with M4. Now does that mean M4 is going to be 200% faster than M3? Probably not, I expect minimal upgrades, but it all comes back to AI guys. A lot of industry people feel Apple's behind in this aspect, and so even if the performance upgrades are minimal, as long as M4 packs tons of AI goodness, it should be pretty well received by the tech nerds. Finally, there have been chip IDs that leaked for the iPad Pro suggesting there would be a brand new unreleased chipset. T8122 is the chip identifier for M3, but the identifier that has leaked is T8132, which does point towards the iPad Pro gaining a newer M4 chipset. So yes, all of these valid points have sort of convinced me that yes, there is a good chance Apple goes ahead with M4 on the iPad Pro, and I guess lay the foundations for AI before they release new software at WWDC. But I'm guessing they're switching to M4 mainly to convince many people to upgrade, since those still 2018 iPad Pros haven't had much of a reason to upgrade, so they're going all out with the OLED iPads to get you guys to spend some cash. Also, I think more reviewers like myself are now going to be interested in playing around with these iPads because it has a fancy new chipset. And some more reviewers giving their thoughts on these iPads increases the traction they get. And I'm also sure some consumers are going to fall for the AI buzzwords that Apple's going to make a huge fuss about. But you know what I'm going to make a huge fuss about, guys? The fact you should subscribe to this channel, of course. I would greatly appreciate it and it would bring you the latest about Apple right to subscription box. So please consider it. We're trying to hit our next milestone of 16,000 subscribers. So join the Saran Bike gang now. Now getting M4 early is cool and all, but at the end of the day, I really hope they at least preview some of the software features we can expect with iPadOS 18, because it is still pretty crazy to me that the iPad out of all products is getting M4 first when the software experience is so restricted. Remember this meme from a few years ago? Yes, it very much is like putting a V8 engine in a Ford Fiesta. And all we've heard about iPadOS 18 is a new calculator app, so clearly that's gonna be pushing the M4 and we definitely don't need macOS-like features. Anyways, jokes aside, German does not mention this in his report, but if the iPad Pro is getting the M4, does this mean the iPad Air could get M3 instead of the M2 as rumored? I mean, at the end of the day, whether this has the M2 or M3 probably doesn't make a massive difference to most consumers, but hey, I'll take a slightly better chipset, especially since M2 is going to be two years old and M3 was just released in October. M3 would also bring ray tracing to the mid-tier iPad for those into gaming, but I'm not sure if it's going to increase the price or not. I'm hoping there is no price increase because the iPad Air already is pretty expensive as is for an LCD iPad. Finally, German drops one more interesting tidbit that I want to talk about, and that is haptic feedback for the pencil. I saw this coming. I talked about this in my dedicated video regarding the new pencil. They can check out in the icon above, but essentially, we heard about new squeeze gestures for the pencil, so to prevent accidental triggers, 
I thought it made sense to add haptics. Also, I believe there was a patent suggesting the pencil could imitate different drawing surfaces. So for example, the feel you get from drawing on rough paper. And so I can see haptics coming into play there as well. I'm quite excited to see the new changes with the pencil considering Apple's marketing so far is centered around it. But let's hope it works with other iPad models as well. Now that we're done with the new tidbits, Let's recap, hopefully for the last time, everything we know about the new iPad Air Pro. Beginning with the iPad Air 6, this is mostly a spec refresh with M2, or now M3, being the key upgrade, but for the first time, there is going to be a new 12.9 inch size option. In theory, launching this does make sense because I'm sure there's a decent chunk of consumers who want the big display experience the iPad Pros always offered, but without the massive price tag. And so this should be adequate enough for most, but like I've mentioned many times on the channel, this won't exactly be a cheap iPad. You see, based on the fact the top 8 9 inch iPad Pro used to be $200 more when it had LCD like the 11 inch, there is a strong possibility the larger Air starts at $799 which is very much iPad Pro territory. That's currently how much the 11 inch goes for. And yes, I know the upcoming iPad Pros are getting more expensive, but it's still a tough pill to swallow. Honestly, it's clear to me Apple's only releasing this just to continue creating the perfect ladder of choices. So if you go into the Apple store thinking you want the 12.9 inch iPad Air 6, but then you see the iPad Pro for $200 more, you're likely gonna go for the Pro instead, which will make Timothy very happy because he just manipulated you, what an evil man. Anyways, moving to the M4 iPad Pro, this has been long rumored to be a big upgrade for the Pros, considering these iPads have basically been the same since 2018, and the big change is going to be OLED. This is of course something we're already familiar with on the iPhone and Apple Watch, and it's going to give these iPads a ton of benefits like increased brightness, higher contrast ratio, lower power consumption, and also LTPO text so that the display can go down to 10 Hertz to save battery life. And yes, notice how I said iPads in plural because it's heavily rumored the 11 inch is no longer going to be left out. It's getting the same display as its higher end counterparts, which hasn't been the case since 2020. Not only this, but Apple is also using the same LiPo technology they used on iPhone 15 Pro to shrink the bezels. So the new display should be 11.1 inches and 13 inches, and it seems the actual bodies aren't getting that much larger. However, they'll be ever so slightly different so that of course, you have to go buy a more expensive Magic Keyboard, which isn't fun. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. And thank you for watching.